Hi, here we're looking at Zigaboo Model East drumming on the Meters Classic Sissy Strut. The piece is made up of two sections which alternate throughout A, B, A, B. The A section feel has a linear quality and its most unique element is the fact that it's played open-handed. Uh, and then we've got the B section which is uh, features a lot of variations essentially aiming for these two accented notes on the hi-hat for the most part on beat, uh, beat 4 and the end of beat 4. If you look at some recent footage of uh, Zigaboo playing the pattern, he tends to favour a more simplified version of it. And that sounds like this. So if we break down what's going on there, firstly you'll notice there's a slight swing quality to the feel. It's not really swung, but it's uh, neither is it straight. It, it lies somewhere in, in between the two. So we don't want straight sixteenths, but nor do we want really swung sixteenths. So there's a challenge there in, in uh, getting them to lie somewhere between the two. So the other thing you'll notice is that it's all played open-handed, uh, but basically your right hand is essentially just playing eighth notes and moving them from, a, from the hi-hat over onto the snare drum. The bass drum is playing uh, beat one, the last sixteenth of one, beat three, the last sixteenth of And so now let's look at the original version of the A section groove. It's a little more bass drum uh, movement going on. So there are three extra bass drum notes in the original version uh, and they land on the second sixteenth note of beats two, three and four. There's also a challenging bit of coordination on beat three because the bass drum is playing the first, second and fourth sixteenth note. Whilst the hat is playing the second and third sixteenth note. So the key to getting that to work is to make sure that you get your left hand to line up with the second bass drum note and then your right hand plays a hi-hat on its own afterwards and then you've got a bass drum on its own afterwards. And so now let's turn our attention to the B section feel, which is all about uh, this emphasis on the last two eighth notes of the bar, played between the hi-hats and the bass drum. And really the, the, beat, the three beats that precede that uh, are all about just playing some different syncopations that sort of set those last two notes up. So uh, here's the first uh, B section, just to give you an idea of the, some of the different ideas that are used. Finally, I'll just illustrate that idea of this slight swung quality to the feel uh, once more. So just going back to the A section groove, here's the original A section feel played with a straight 16th note feel.
and now I'll swing it as though uh, a swung 16th note feel. But the feel lies somewhere in between those two.